we're going to bring Randy on and Randy will have a lot of time to talk to us. And uh, we're going to, I know some of the things I want to talk about, because I want to stop talking in a minute or two and let him do all of that, as much of that, is how to keep us oldies busy, which I think has a lot to do with uh, anti-aging and health and happiness. And he's going to talk about franchising in regards to that. And, of course, we also need to know about health care in general and what to look for and when. So without further ado, I am going to bring on Randy and let him introduce himself. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you, Jay. You're very Randy, welcome. Randy. I'm the vice president of franchise development for One Heart Franchise. We're a senior care franchise, senior care franchise company based in Los Angeles. I've been in operation for more than 14 years, and right now, uh, I guess we have opened the op- opportunity for a franchise to franchisees in Southern California area, Las Vegas, Nevada, and we just signed up two franchise locations in San Francisco last January 31. You mean there's older people there too? There's a couple of old people there. You know, the senior care industry is a booming industry because of the, not only the baby boomers, but the existing seniors all across USA. Yeah. Um, And the 77 million baby boomers since 2011, turning 10,000 every day, seniors every day. Now they're on their 74th year, 74 years old, turning 10,000. Uh, 10,000 Americans turning 74 years old every day. That's me. I'm turning 74 next month. Oh, well, it doesn't show, Jay. Yes, it does. But, you know, we've got a lot of filters on here. Thanks to Sean. Uh, Thank you, Sean. Uh, We've got... uh, I do look pretty good, though, for 102. (laughs) And uh, I guess I'm the first or the oldest. (laughs) Either way you want to look at it. Let's say first. It sounds better. Being... 1946. And, and you know, I just met our, one of our clients in, in Huntington Beach. She's about 106 years old, Jake. Wow. And one of her secrets is she said, just be happy, and I'm not a complainer. Yeah. So I know that uh, many of us have a very good positive attitude, so we probably would reach that age. And right now we are so happy to announce that we are expanding to different states all over USA. Wow. So there's franchise brokers, consultants that are looking into other states like uh, today. I have some Virginia inquiry, Florida, New Jersey, and wow. Texas. We want to go into Texas area as well. And a couple of the shows that you have, uh, I know you'll remember that we, I've declared that our, our healthcare industry is defective because it focuses on illness. One heart, caregiver services, focus on wellness. Yeah. And we have our brain fitness education seminars, neurobic brain exercises. Now we have our one of our newest resource speaker, brain booster, Kimberly Mitchell, who's going to be doing some brain booster uh, lecture to us in Nevada. And uh, now, is she is she the lady I met in Glendale that time? Uh, I, I guess it's another person, T-Bar, so she's oh. a uh, brain fitness program director also. So we have a couple oh. of very good resource speakers. Do you know anybody where I can get a brain transplant? Yeah, no, uh, it's just a couple of uh, neurobics brain gym exercises and cognitive. Yeah, so I may, I may not even need a transplant, huh? There's other uh, ways. I mean, to... it's, it's pretty much sharp and alert. I, I can see that you've got a couple of uh, some very good sharp updates of history and all of those uh, fun uh, trivia. So that's I, a- I, trivia. You got me down <laughs> perfectly. Thank you. Yeah. So it's 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 a but right. Uh, your 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 program, the Educated Retirement, speaks highly of people who even after being retired just want to do a couple of more things. One of my new franchisee who is a 20 years in the Navy and 14 years in the uh, immigration 
as immigration officer, now yeah. wanted to do also another one heart franchise business because he will be able to dictate more his own time. Right. Right. Because you know, as, and as still people, work. I mean, it's not as, like you're not working, but you have the flexibility to work those hours than you than you want. It's not just working when you want. You have certain things you need, but you have the flex you need to do. But you have the flexibility. In in a, you know some in most cases, there's going to be some emergencies maybe that you need to get to or right. something something that's maybe time sensitive. But you know. That's those are one of the major reasons why Americans would love to be their own boss so mm -hmm. that they will have their own freedom in their time, financial freedom and personal freedom as well. At the same time, helping seniors and providing more jobs to, to the local community. That's a good thing. Yeah. And so we, we, I know we also wanted to work with you closely because there are some seniors who would want to get funded for their home care services and the reverse mortgage is one of those that are very much uh, uh, very open to, for them to be able to afford uh, home care services. Oh yeah, because you don't have to, it doesn't take much to qualify. And uh, once you've got it, doesn't mean you're spending it, you've got access to it. It's like opening up your access to your equity if and when you want it for healthcare or to even make more money with. But yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Correct, and th that, that's why you and I both need to educate our senior community. There's so much, so much education needed because not many people know this about the home care services that they can do with their reverse mortgage and at the same time uh, provide uh, help for their family or for themselves. Mm -hmm. so something that even our franchisees uh, would want to educate also our our senior community in their local area. Yeah, I've got a f good friend who was actually a, a, a guest about a month and a half ago, and uh, he has no need for money, <laughs> okay. but he has a need for doing something. So he he drove for Uber, which didn't turn out to be too bad money wise. Yeah. And he also, since he's kind of out, outdoorsman, went to work for ten dollars and thirty six cents an hour at an outdoor sports, uh, you know, mega mart. So uh, keeping busy is important. Sometimes it's more important than making money. Correct. The in the quality of life, uh, whether we measure the physical, mental, health nutrition and activities, social engagement is one, of, is one of the most powerful tool that we should have uh, in, in our life, even during our retirement. Mm -hmm. That is something that we encourage. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm so pe people who were anywhere from bottom of the pyramid all the way up to executives are, uh, you know, are moving towards franchising now, whether they're retired or not, right? Yes, there's a couple of things that you wanted to, to to go into business. You can you can set up your own independent business, buy an existing business, or the easiest one is to acquire a franchise business, which is which offers already a a well built uh, business model. Uh, All right, so that, that saves that saves you lots of effort. Yes, and you, you don't you don't run a business, Jay. You you run a system. So there's an operating system that will allow you to follow the processes, systems, and some methodology that will be uh -huh. able to make sure that you provide organizational effectiveness to, to your own business operation. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. So, uh, you know, uh, let's talk about One Heart itself, and then we can get back to that. Sure. So uh, I think most of our listeners and watchers are familiar with the name One Heart, yeah. but you want to tell us exactly what it is you do and how you differ, for, differ perhaps from other companies that say they do the same thing? Yeah, uh, One Heart uh, Caregiver Services is a home care service agency. It's uh -huh. a company that provides private caregivers, one-on-one -on -one private duty, we also, not only in their private homes, but in big senior living facilities. Those people that are in the senior living facilities, once they reach 
a, an hourly need for care, then uh -huh. they can't stay in their senior living facilities. They're supposed to get a private care duty. So people who have had a fall or pneumonia or other things that will allow them not to perform two activities of their daily living. So that's right, where right. one heart comes in to provide personal care, assistance in daily living, uh, providing meals, uh, light housekeeping, medical appointments. So those are the things that we've done. And we've provided millions of hours of service over the course of 14 years. Wow. So the, the difference with other company is we've been there for many years. We've done some continuing professional education. We have our in-house caregiver university where we provide the continuing education you know, nurses, doctors, engineers with that continuing education, what more with caregivers because we don't handle products, we handle human lives. Uh, Very important to yeah, be able to train yeah. them and equip them with uh, their own personal development and skills and knowledge to be able to provide the best care. Also, we do a lot of continuing health education advocacy. So we have brain fitness education seminars, aerobics brain exercises. Now there's going to be brain booster Oh, I need that. Sign me up. Yeah. I, I, In fact, I before we go any further, why don't you tell everybody, let's talk about the health care part right now. How, who would they call? Are you the person to call? Give out all the information on health care right now, on, on using One Heart for health care. We have about nine offices. So, But uh, you can call the head office, corporate head office, at 818 906-4441 or you can see us at uh, oneheartcares.com there's there's you can sign up there if how many hours of needed care and we have uh, our circle of care which means there's a dedicated client care manager for each case where we'll be able to make sure that we check out the progress of the seniors check on the performance of the caregivers mm -hmm. and at the same time uh, provide our quality of life program. The quality of life program will be able to see the progress in physical health and mental health and nutrition so that, that we'll be able to show progress. Okay, now we're going to go over those numbers again. It'll be on the screen later too or I, you know, as far as uh, on the video, all that information will be there. And, of course, anybody can call me or call Randy direct. And, Randy, you're going to say those numbers again. But for now, let's switch back over to the franchising. Sure. Now, will there be a different set of phone numbers for the franchising information or place to go? Yes. Uh, each franchise is, is in our website. So uh -huh. there's a location when you click, when you see the website, just put on and search on the location, Beverly Hills, Thousand Oaks, Santa Barbara, Las Vegas. Uh, how about if somebody is interested in their own franchise? If they're interested in their own franchise, the website also, when you click uh, the website franchise, uh, it goes to our One Heart franchise. Oh, app. okay. So all the information is on the internet also. Yes, in our website and our, our contact number. Uh, my, my contact, my direct line is 818-579-2570. Say it one more time, please. 818-579-2570. Uh-huh, great. So we will be able to walk you through the franchise step process. It's it's a couple of uh, step process that we'll be able to walk you through. So you'll be able to help you make a decision whether this senior care franchise, One Heart franchise, is right for you. It's the best way to keep right. you busy or not. Correct. Right. We're traveling to different states also. I'm conducting some franchise masterclass mm. and webinars so that they get educated with the One Heart franchise system. So what kind of training uh, do you offer these people that are looking for the franchise or actually are going into it? And, uh, you know, your initial training, ongoing training, how does all that work? We have an in inductive franchisee training in our One Heart Business Academy. It's a five-day I like business that academy. Yeah, One Heart Business Academy in our corporate uh -huh. our head office. So we'll be able to walk them through the operations, staffing, recruitment, billing, invoices, and the uh, sales and marketing. And we have a technology platform where uh, mm. there's a system where caregivers will call in, time in, time out. 
Then it goes to our technology platform where it generates payroll, billing invoices. It gets migrated to our QuickBook accounting system. So very efficient. You don't need to have your own another staff to be able to handle your accounting. Or All right. Yeah, because that's a, like a full-time job normally, right? It's, it saves you time and, if, and very efficient. And we have our field work training also. We have our senior client care managers who's going to train them actual field coaching in, in Southern California. And once they're finished, there's continuing second phase of training. We go to their territory in about after three months to six months to do our own field coaching. I also travel to some franchise offices so to be able to help them out how to build their business. So we have webinars quarterly workshop, which is part of the continuous training uh -huh. for franchisees here in our head office. And we have our video materials also that will keep them abreast. We have the health education lectures that will update them on the most uh, recent health education materials they need to know. Yeah, so they stay out in front of the competition. And, and But, sure. you know, more important than that is they... They're doing the right thing all the time for the clients, yes. and all, all, all in the with the goal of uh, promoting wellness, longevity, and improved lifestyle. Yeah, and I, I really, really uh, agree. Buy in, whatever you want to call it, to getting professional help when you need it, yes. whether it's for yourself, for your loved ones, even if you know somebody who is taking care of their brother, sister, parents, <clears throat> even children with afflictions. Those people need help also. The, those people need to be relieved every now and then or their lives will really go downhill, don't you think? Correct. And th they need to check out and make their due diligence also of companies, whether they have the uh, home care organization right. license, whether they have the, their employees as W2 employees. There's now registration home care aid caregivers has to be registered under the Department of Social Services, which means they need to be having some live scan, TB test, and uh -huh. five hours of training. They need to check on that so that they're making sure that they are hiring the right person at the right company. Exactly. They're and anybody that has a One Heart franchise, uh, all that is is kind of provided. You make sure that they help you make sure all of that is covered. Yes, they're they're fully trained, <clears throat> and then yeah, go ahead. We transform them into becoming an elder care advisor, problem solver, and oh, I like know, that problem partner. solver. That's good. Yes, partner to the healthcare community. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know there are a few of these companies out there. So when it comes to driving business towards a uh, one heart services, how do you actually go about, well, first of all, you have to convince people they really need help because that will help them in the long run. <clears throat> then they have to uh, be convinced that you're the one and you can only do so much. And, you know, that's it. But how do you help your franchisees uh, generate that kind of steady income flow or uh, supply of customers yeah the 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 system allows us to have market development program market penetration program and we have our area recruitment program so this is a process a methodology that once they follow they will be able to have a steady income you know how to uh, conduct their own sales and marketing activities health education uh, activities uh, sales and marketing we also have a marketing department in our head office that they don't need to put up their own marketing department and our group and, and our was, team yeah. is equipped with uh, their ability to identify needs and wants in each market. We, we develop marketing programs and campaigns that we do every month, every two months, so that once the franchisees will execute this program, this will allow us to develop and to show their own local community that they'll be one of the best uh, home care companies that will be able to provide care to their uh, senior communities. So these are these are really well built uh, system and processes and methodology that once they follow, it's more like they have a roadmap 
to be able to follow. Yeah. So they have the destination in mind, but we provide them the roadmap yeah, yeah. to be able the navigation to, system. Yes. <clears throat> so they, yeah. they, they don't need to reinvent the wheel. They just need to do it the one hard way for them to be able to execute the best care for their, and even before they accept a case, they have a plan of care uh, process and pay forms. The ones they walk th them through the patient or the client to an interview, they'll be able to know the level of care. So right. those are really good steps to be able to know the level of care needed by each seniors. And it's up for them to decide whether they really want to go into this uh, full blast because it's it's something that save lives and prevent fall, prevent hospital readmission. So this is something that their family members would need to be able to make sure that uh, wellness is protected and uh, longevity is achieved mm -hmm. over the course of the years. So we are we are a group of uh, healthcare uh, professionals combined ninety years. When wow. we combine our professional experience, it's 90 years. That's so, almost as old as me. Yeah, no, not, not <laughs> close. Uh, it's pretty good number of uh, successful experience that we'll be able to share to our franchisees so that they'll be able to uh, minimize, not have a mistake on their own. And just uh, mm -hmm. they can always call us and we'll navigate together how they can do their case right. management. You know, we've talked. I think we've talked about why senior care is a really good industry. I don't know if there's anything you wanted to add to that. Uh, the 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 senior the lifespan of seniors in the U.S. is in is getting longer. Right. The only thing is, people live longer, but with health limitations. So meaning they may grow until 80, 90, but they need, they have some health limitations that they cannot perform uh, activities of daily living and they cannot live by themselves alone. So they would need senior care. There's 12 million Americans that will need senior care this year. As Long far as I know, the largest single growing group in this country are the 100 year olds. Yes, the and, and that's followed by the eighty-five year olds. Yes, they're they're living longer. Even in in the senior centers, when I where I volunteer at Thousand Oaks, uh -huh. I, I see more and more people who are eighty-six years old to ninety-eight years old who are still going wow. there and performing their leisure activities. So they're 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 growing and uh, they're living longer. Yeah, I want to stay around. Yeah, I mean, I hear some people say, "No, no, once I can't no, do this, I want to be gone." You know those science idea. fiction movies where there's a brain in an aquarium? Oh we'll yeah, get a little off focus here. You know, just put my brain in there with some of those electrodes coming out, and as long as I can hear music and I, I can either read <laughs> or have somebody read to me and talk to people, keep it going. Yes, up. Uh you know, Benjamin Franklin declares that there are two definite things that can happen, right? Death and taxes. Our CEO, Belina Nurnberg, declared that there's a third one now that you cannot escape, and that's long-term care. Oh, boy. Whether it's going to be performed by a nursing home, family members, or a professional caregiver. You cannot escape long-term care because you're going to be needing it one way or the other. Right, right. And a lot of people need it not in the last few years of their lives, but just because they fall down or they're yes. maybe incapacitated for a year or two or whatever, and then they return home. But in the meantime, <clears throat> you need long-term care, whether it's at a facility or at your home. There are about 5 million Alzheimer cases in the U.S., and because there is no cure, wow. it's going to increase to 16 million people. <sighs> we have a client who's 58 years old who's got an Alzheimer case. Oh, wow. And it's it's really very heartbreaking to see that uh, this disease is a devastating disease that you can't live by yourself anymore. So you will need care. Yeah, I don't know nearly enough about that disease. I've talked to people that have, that have it, even somewhat advanced, <clears throat> and they seem normal. But if you go to try to write write your name you can't do it uh it, it's 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 i guess that's certain stages but it's it's pretty scary 
it it becomes too <clears throat> too personal for me, Jay, also because my mom who lives yeah. eight thousand away, eight thousand miles away, yeah, is, is in her, her late Alzheimer stage. Wow. Even at eighty six years old, he she forgets how to chew her own food. Ugh. And that's why me, as, as, as my commitment to the senior community, I would like to do more of this neuro big brain exercises, lectures, and education. I know you've got a great reputation for yeah. that. So we, 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 we are committed and we wanted to do more. I've, I've done more than 20, <laughs> more than Excuse 30 neuro big brain exercises lectures last year. Uh -huh. I'd, I'd like to continue more even with our yeah. other resource speaker, T-Bar, and Kimberly Michel. Mm -hmm. Now, what about, oh, uh, well, we know about what makes this a good franchise. Uh, you know, one thing that I was going to say is, of course, if you're looking to fund one of these, there's always a reverse mortgage. Oh, yes. One of many, many, many things you can use a reverse mortgage for. And I know a lot of older people that have taken money out of the house to be to, to start a business, a business with the family, themselves, whatever. Yes. But what should uh, someone get pre-qualified for or funding, or how does that actually we, work? We are, we are a member of the International Franchise Association. We, we attended a convention last uh, month at uh, Orlando, Florida, and there are financial group that helps out franchising. It's easier to get a loan uh, if you're a franchise business. So ah, it, because it, people have less of a chance of making the wrong decisions. Yes. Uh, SBA loans, uh, well, you know, uh, payment uh, has a very low, uh, uh, low uh, rate of uh, from ho for home care franchise business owners. So they are able to pay more. There are very little percentage that are unable to pay unlike yeah. big other big businesses restaurants and all so home care is considered to be having the less percentage of default wow in paying back their loans so it's not like uh trying to get a loan to open a restaurant is it no no it's <laughs> it's, it's a low investment uh, risk because that's it's, about the uh, highest investment risk that I, I can think of offhand it's it's is, less, a, is a restaurant. Yeah, it can be less than a hundred thousand to be able to own your own one heart franchise business. So it's it's more affordable in terms of getting yourself your own money or getting a an equity from your home, a reverse mortgage, yeah. or uh, getting a funding from uh, from banks. We're starting to run out of time. No, I'm not talking about our age. I'm talking about for the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want you to give all of your contact information again, please. Yes, uh, my my contact number, my direct office telephone number is 818-579-2570. You may also call my mobile phone number 805-338. Your mobile, that's good. Zero, Go ahead, zero. I'm sorry, I interrupted it, but that it surprised me you're giving out your mobile. That's good. Go ahead, right. and go ahead with my mouth closed and do it yes. again, please. 805-338-8100. You, you can text or call me in this number. So, uh, you, know, you, know, you know the reason why we get a lot of senior lady clients, Jay? What's that? Uh, every time I do a lecture, I introduce myself as my name is Randolph. For the guys, you can call me Randy. For the girls, you can call me anytime. <laughs> so the senior ladies call me more than, than the guy. So that's why yeah. I gave two numbers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead and throw it out again. The number. So direct line 818-579-2570 or mobile phone number 805-338-8100. You can find us in our website, oneheartfranchise.com. Wow. That's easy. Now, uh, one heart, that's just the, the the number one and then spelled out the rest, right? right? Okay. Numerical one, number one. Yeah. Heartfranchise.com. All right. So let's hope uh, more and more. Well, I know you're having success, so. Yeah. We're busy this year, yes. Yeah, the more success you have, the more success aging uh, people in general are yes. going to have.
Because the more people, the more their one hearts and, and that industry grows, and it needs to grow because the yeah we have one minute so but it needs to grow because the demand is so high and it's getting much much higher as we go with the hundred year olds being the largest single growing group here so we know that'll work well we wish you a lot of success with that which i know you're going to get and uh, I want everybody else to uh, remember those phone numbers, whether you want to talk about staying busy by doing this kind of thing or any other way or just getting to know. Call Randy and just get to know. Ask questions about health care for you and your family. 